I wouldn't say technical, it's more technical in terms of the way the build and all of the elements that I had to build out. Um, and that was used then to transition over into the front end of the actual product. But the control that that has been able to give me, we just wasn't getting, you know, the developers just wasn't getting the level of detail that, you know, I look at everything. And, you know, as I said to you before, many a times, I call it the transition period. You know, what is on design in Sketch for me always slightly changes when I go into Webflow because it's in the context that it should be in. And you start to see actually maybe that font's too big, maybe that needs a bit more padding, maybe that's a bit small. You can't you can't really see that too much in 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 design, say like Sketch. So for me, I really see it being as a tool that's gonna help create rapid prototypes, help build out um you know, product, but then I also see it still being, you know, a, a leader in, you know, building your, your, your websites, you know, your really nice websites, great, you know, content management system. It, it's going to, for me, probably cut out Webflow, um, Webflow um, WordPress at some point in the line. Um, you know, the trajectory that they're, they're on and the way that they're going, I think, you know, WordPress should be worried massively. Um, and I think, you know, they are trying to do things like this. There's a lot of them that are trying to do things like this. So you know that they're worried um, because Webflow is just going to completely take that space because, you know, there is no better tool for building amazing websites.